So I have a question. What's up guys, this is Joey Wisdom back again with a new video and today's topic is relationships. I don't know what it is with me in relationships. Relationships are very important, you know, throughout your whole life. It's a part of you and that's how you experience your life, that's how you learn from your mistakes, that's relationships, it could be with friends, family, even pets. So I just wanted to talk about relationships and how they evolve so quickly for the best or for the worst and I wanted to talk about relationships that really turn into the worst for example you know dating someone or like within a month you already know that the little things they do is not necessarily good or the little comments they make is not good maybe you think that you know that the person cares maybe when you're young you know, 18, 17, or whatever, when you're a teenager, maybe the things they do make you think that the person cares and they like you, but really, it's really going downhill. So I want to explain to you the things that are can that are not good for you in a relationship. And it could lead to an emotional abusive relationship. So I'm going to explain. It's five of them and here we go number five is name calling and insults i mean in the beginning of a relationship i don't think there should be a reason for you to be calling each other bitch whore slut if you really are in a relationship a good relationship why would you call your girl a slut knowing that you know the way she is and she flirts and all this stuff, you're the one that decided to be with that person. So why are you calling them that? I think when it comes to a relationship, it's all about respect. And me personally, I'm learning from myself how to be more respectful towards my friends and whoever. Number four, uh, they take everything personal. I mean, when, when someone tells you a story uh, this that I don't like this or, you know, people that do this, and then the other person says, Oh, so me this and you me are you trying to say that indirectly I mean that just makes me want to be distant because it just makes me feel like I can't tell you anything I can't tell you a story I can't tell you anything because you're always gonna take take it like I'm talking about you but I'm not talking about you if I'm not like you do this and you're the kind of person and you 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 if I'm not saying you then I'm not talking about you simply as that so that's another sign that it's not going to be a good relationship that's just called insecurity number three is um, a person that isolates you from your friends and family I mean I've gone through that and a person that really does not want you to spend time with your friends they they really just want you to spend time with them and it's everything that surrounds them and their family I think with a person in relationships everybody needs space I personally need I like a lot of space and I'm, I'm I guess you could call myself a loner but I don't like to be lonely I like to be in groups but I mean you can't isolate your the person that you're with I mean they need to talk about their problems and it's not only with you and it shouldn't always be about you I think you need to learn to to go see other people. Go have some friends. People need friends. Your relationship should not just be your only friend. That just gets boring. Because once that person is gone, where are you going to go? You're going to be all alone. Give me space. Number two is the person monitoring wherever you go. This goes for girls because, or I don't know, everybody does that, I think, where... People willingly just tells you, like, hey, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go spend time with this person. But you can't do it so much because the person that you're with is going to get so used to you telling them where they are that the one day that you don't tell them where they are, 
they're going to feel left out, they're going to get mad, and they're going to feel unsure of you and what you're doing. Don't be so open of who you're spending time with or who what you're going to do that day. Just be like, hey, I'm going to go to school and talk to you later. It's this whole attachment thing as well where like, it's, it's not good to be too attached to somebody because you're going to want to know everything that they're doing. And that, that's just not healthy mentally and emotionally. And the number one problem with relationships is selfishness. Because there are people, there are relationships where it's all about you, me, 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 me. Hey, look at me and how the way I feel. Everything's about feeling. Us girls, not all girls, but... We're all about feelings. I have feelings. I have emotions. So the one big turnoff about a guy is that they don't care about my feelings. So when you know that a guy does not care about your feelings and the way you feel, bye-bye, selfish bastard. Listen, I understand you, you have feelings. I'm there for you 24-7. But the one day that I have an issue and you tell me get over it or move on or it's not a big deal, Please think about all the times that I was there for you. I mean, did I ever say move on and get over it? No. I think that's like the most disrespectful thing a person can say to someone else. Because everybody has feelings. I just don't understand the fact that people pretend that they don't have feelings. Everybody has their own baggage. You don't know how that person feels. You don't know what that person went through. You can't just shut someone off and then expect that person to be there for you when you weren't there for them. That's the worst thing that happens in a relationship. You get selfish and you don't appreciate the person and you just mess things up because you don't consider the person's feelings. So that's that. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment. Did I miss anything? And tell me what is important for you when it comes to a relationship. Thank you guys. Have a great week and see you soon. Bye guys.